two on victory today, net through to the next round. What's your thoughts on the performance? Yeah, it was, uh, we got the job done in the end and we've made hard work of it. I think you've got to give Kingstonian great credit for that. They're um, an excellent footballing side. They've got plenty of threats in their team and uh, we started the game well. Um, I felt that we didn't seize that, that, that advantage and uh, they grew in the game. They got their goal and then they were had their tails up and we, we made they made it very difficult for us. But ultimately we, we found a way and uh, you know it wasn't the prettiest. It wasn't our best performance um, You know, we, and hopefully... We've got the job done and learned some lessons along the way as well. A number of changes both on the pitch and on the bench as well. Shirley comes back in his first game since Wrexham last season, you know, um, to name but a few, and also a number of changes on the bench with Giles coming back on. How great is it to see him back on, back involved? Yeah, look, it's great to get a player back. You know, we've been we've been hurt and seem to be losing a lot more players when we're getting back. So uh, to see Giles on the bench was a, was great for us. We we're hoping to get him some minutes. Um, the game didn't quite allow it, allow that for us, but another week's training for him now will put him in a better place for next week as well. Um, I think I have to give a special mention to Ben Schroll, who's been out with a, a, a knee injury for some months now, and um, he's trained for two weeks. And um, it's cruel for him to say we were forced to put him in. We, we were with the injuries and the illness that we have at the moment. Um, we would have been happy to get 45 minutes out of him. We've ended up getting 90. You know, I didn't want to playing for 90, but I also couldn't take him off because what a good game he was having. He looked comfortable and I think that's real credit to him. Um, you know, He's a, a player with huge potential here, another young one that's coming through, um, one we're excited about. Um, we've sadly missed him for a, for a while now, but he, he went out on loan at the early part of the season and got some good experience at Hampton. And um, you know he's really took his chance today as well. So um, we'll have to be careful with him in, in training next week to, to rest him down because he's, he's done longer than, than we would have liked. But um, I thought him and Corey Jordan um, really marshaled that defence well today and they were tested by a very good Kingstonian side. And of course, young Lucius also on the bench for the first time, his first first team experience. How do you feel he'll, he'll be excited after that? Yeah, no, another one who's been in training with us the last couple of weeks. He's, um, you know, impressing us in training. He's got good, you know, another another one with, with big potential and one we'll look to uh, nurture along the way. And, and there's plenty of opportunities, you know, uh, Woody was... On the bench as well, he's, he's been training with us and training really well. So, you, you know, we've certainly got a conveyor belt. They're, they're, they're coming through, they're starting to train with us on a regular basis. And what a great sight that is to see them in and around on a match day squad. Looking at the first half, obviously, it took us a while to get going and, you know, a bit cruelly punished with the goal, but a well-taken goal from Kingstonian. And we did well to respond to that in the second half. You know, maybe, maybe a bit of fortune, but did well to deserve them nonetheless. Yeah, look, I actually thought we started the game quite well and bright. And we had plenty of opportunities, I thought. Um, it then swung the other way and I felt that we should have really seized that advantage and really um, you know, gone for the throat a little bit more and, and put, put them to the sword, but, but we didn't. Credit to them for that, but I felt that we come off of it rather than step on it and that, that really disappointed, disappointed us as a, as a group. But um, we rallied second half, we made a couple of tweaks, um, got a little bit closer to them um, and, and, and got our goals and got the job done. Like I said, it weren't, it weren't the prettiest. Sometimes as a group, um, to risk sounding like a dad, that you, you can say certain things, but sometimes you need to get your fingers burnt a little bit to realise, and uh, I think that's the, probably the case in the first half. Um, but again, credit to the group. They've, they've, they've dug deeper today uh, and got the job done, where arguably maybe earlier on we, we might have not been able, to, been able to get that through. So we've got a rugged side about us, a tough side about us, um, and we were probably, um, had a lot of players playing out there for a lot longer than I would have liked. Um, the injury list is long and the illness as well. Um, and a lot of them out there were, were quite heavily fatigued today. And I think that probably showed at times. But the grit and desire at the end come through because, um, you know, I can say it now, but if, if we lost, we would never give them any excuse. But um, it's the nature of the, the league and the season and where, and where we are at the moment. But we, we, we've had quite a lot of tired bodies this week and a bit of illness in the camp. So, um, fortunately... You know, we missed Chain. Well, unfortunately, we missed Chainbow with 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 COVID. He, that's the only one which would have been available today. But there's there's other illness going around as well, and uh, we've had to patch ourselves up a bit today and get ourselves out there. But the most important thing for me is that we, we found a way to win. Just a note on Chainbow. Obviously, with the whole COVID thing going on at the minute, no doubt it would have been you know kept away and made sure everything's safe and secure during this time. Yeah, absolutely. And look, it's it's clear now that we. Um, in the national news that we've got to close our bubble up. I'm asking the players to be professional 
away from here as well and not be mixing too much in large crowds and we're, we're trying to put all the protocols back you know they've always been in place but we're probably being a bit more stricter on them again now because we, we you know we've got some big games coming up and we need to protect our squad because uh We've been threadbare for a while now, and um, you know I need each and every one of them. Chambos, fortunately, he's he's fine. He's um, you know he's got no symptoms. He's, he feels absolutely fine. It's just through through our testing that that that's, that's come up, and um, we'll we'll rest the boys down. We'll close up our bubble as tight as we can. Um, it's tough out there at the moment, um, and we'll just just try and manage the situation the best we can. Back on the game, Jacob Archibald comes back on, gets a goal, and man the match. He's clearly done enough to impress you tonight. Yeah, listen, I've always uh, actually always uh, I've always been a, a fan of Achi before coming into the club. Watched him a lot last season. Um, it's been a very stop-start season for him, frustrating for for, for both of us. Um, but he, he's come on and made a big impact in the game last last week. Um, and he's, he's got 90 minutes under his belt is, is really pleasing for me because I just want to build his fitness. I know what a good player he is. I know what he can bring to the table. And the most important thing is, is that we get him physically ready to be able to do that because the demands physically here are high. Um, so hopefully 90 minutes in today. The goal is a big bonus as well, an important goal at an important time. So um, yeah, hopefully that's a, a step forward for him as well in, in, in coming back and getting back to his best. Of course, it's victory against a lower league opposition, getting over that hoodoo maybe earlier in the season about you know Bowers and Pitsy, and it was important to make sure we got the result first and foremost and a performance to follow. Yeah, look, the results the first is, is the first thing, and that certainly was. The performance was patchy, um, but... Like I said, hopefully in those moments we can we can learn some lessons, but um, we've we've got away with the win and we've learned some lessons along the way. So through to the next round, focus comes back onto the league next week on Sunday. A big game, as you well know, working at home doesn't get any bigger than that. No, it doesn't get any bigger than that. We're we're well aware of the magnitude of the game, um, but for us, we've got to have a clear head. We've got to make sure we just stick to our processes. Um, you know, work really hard, um, keep trying to improve, but yeah, like stick stick to our game plan, stick to it what we are and who we are and uh, not get carried away by the occasion. Um, we'll let everyone else do that. We, we're well aware there's going to be a lot of noise here. And uh, these, these are the games you want to be playing in as a, as a player. Um, you know, I've got fond memories of the game myself, but um, you know, I'm hoping for great memories again um, and, and those players to take them. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video, click here to subscribe.